Hello people, this is Clay with a new tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit of HTML. Um, HTML is just a coding language used for websites. Um, and it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. You do not need anything special to code in HTML. Um, all you need is a uh, notepad. Now, if you notice, I'm using Windows XP um, instead of Vista, which I normally use. Um, I just got tired of using Vista, so I switched over to my PC, which has XP. So, yeah, so I'm just going to get to this tutorial. Um, the way I find Notepad is, I have it right here, but you can go into All Programs, Accessories, and it's right in here, Notepad. And then you'll get the window, and you could shrink it however you want. Um, let me change the font here to be a little bit smaller. 14 and I'll make it Times New Roman. Okay. Alright, so let's just type something. Um Hello. This is my website. I made this with HTML. Okay, so now we're going to save this, file save as, and we'll save it to my, or to my desktop because that's the easiest place. And then we will type in site.htm. Alright, so we want it to save as an htm document, site.htm, so we're going to change where it says text documents to all files, and just save. Now if you look, it'll come here. And then hold on one second. I'm uh, going to pause this real quick. Okay, so I changed it. So now this is open in uh, Internet Explorer. And as you can see, it says, Hello, this is my website. I made this with HTML, just like we typed in here. Um, now, there are these things called tags that you use for HTML to style your text and stuff. So I'm just going to start you out with a very basic one. Um, on the second sentence, you're just going to put these little brackets, which is the greater than and less than signs, and then you put B in there. And then we can save this and refresh over here. And there you go. The B tag makes everything after that be bold. And then we got to close that, which we'll just do the same thing, but slash B instead of regular B. So then, that will uh, end what will be bold. Now, we also want something to be italic, maybe. So we could put the same thing, but I. And then, slash, I. And then, I'll press control S to save. F5 over here, and refresh. And there you go. Website is italic. That is bold. And now we can make this part underlined by doing bracket u and at the very end here slash u uh, save and refresh and there you go now we have that so that's just very basic alright so now let's just enter a couple times and type something else um, this was made entirely in Notepad. Control S and F5. Now, if you notice, this did not go down lines because HTML does not understand this little enter thing. You have to actually type in the special code for it to go down the line, which is the break code, which is slash br. And then we just put that on all of these lines that we want to not er, to for it to go down. And there you go. It went down. Okay, so now I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff. And we're going to actually write some HTML. Okay, so we can go 
Well, first of all, all HTML has to be set up between HTML tags, which is HTML and slash HTML. And then inside of there, we have the head tag. And the body tag. Okay, so inside of head, we're going to make a line, and in there, we're going to tab just to keep this more organized and put title. And then slash title. And then in here, we're going to type this site is going to be cool okay so there we go um we can save this refresh it in here and uh, as you can see there's nothing in here but right here and right here it says this site is going to be cool um because that is what this title is okay so then we're gonna go into the body and we're just going to type something. Um, say... Okay, well, first of all, actually, I'm going to show you something. And then this is header tags. You can have six of these. Um, but these are just the headers. You can have up to six of them. And they decrease in size with the number getting larger h1 being the largest and h6 being the smallest so I'm just gonna type in hello I made this site and then we can just save this go in here refresh it and there you go it's really big now let's say we wanted to make this into the center and then we could just go like this and right here where it says H1, we put a line equals center. And then we save it. Go in here and refresh and it is centered. And then if you shrink this, no matter how you size it, it will always be in the center. I'm just going to make this full size again. Okay. So then, let's just go down a couple breaks okay and now we're going to put in a paragraph which is the P tag and then this will just be where you're writing your stuff no um right here you would think that this would have to but the paragraph tag automatically puts a break in between it and the line above it okay so in the paragraph tag we're just going to type something in hello this site was made with notepad I used HTML and then slash P well, that's sloppy coding it should all be in the same case but who cares and there you go it put a couple of breaks in there and now let's say that we wanted this also to be centered um, in the P we would just put a line equals center. There you go. Um, we're probably running out of time. I like to keep my videos short, and if they're really going to be long, I want them to be under 10 minutes. So I'm just going to stop here, and I will pick up later. So, see ya. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.